Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more popper slivers. We're up against Ara Aranant. Aranant. And there we go. We got our hand. And I think we will mulligan. This mana base right now is just a little awkward. Uh, I would like to fetch for like a forest, but we got we got two winding ways. Maybe it's all right. Hmm. We have two winding ways. We can draw into some more of our main colors and then play our winged and striking eventually. It's just a little slow. I don't know how to feel about it. Let's try it. I changed my mind. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. We're going to get a forest with the ash burns and then see what our opponent is playing here. What will they do? Show me. If you dare. I think he was sitting in the play lobby for a while, so he may not even know the match has started. <laughs> he kept his hand though, right? That's just a chat. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, this is Lane's Mountain. Lane's Mountain, some uh, Boros Agro, maybe? Hmm, okay. Pass the turn, though, bud. There we go. Another winged. This is becoming problematic. I'm just fetching this now, because I don't want to not get it next turn. Go ahead. We revealed a forest for you. These are currently unplayables. So they're going to Ash Burns too. That is fine. Hmm. Alright, so this Cascade. Oh, no, it's not. Ah. It's this. Okay. We are on a mighty fine clock here. I want to get some stuff out of my hand so I don't have to discard the hand size. So let's just go ahead and drop our Lord B Man Efficient. See if it survives for a turn. We ain't blocking yet, unfortunately. I already got that nice 3 3 Wild Mikado. Come on, bud. let me pass the turn. Thank you. Oh. Energy, please. Thank you. Plenty of mana for him. Into... What? Got plenty of stuff to play here. Oh boy. <laughs> it's gonna be a long one. Well... It might be new. Maybe. Took a while. Another wild Nakata was not fun. Uh, this first striker is going to be very helpful if we can get it down. And they're going to journey my lord. Are you dirty boy? Uh, yeah, we are going to be getting hit for quite a bit here. Uh, I think my original consensus of this being a slow hand is turning out to be true. I know it's only turn three here for us, but we need to be doing more at this point, and we get another. Okay, it's not looking great. Not great. I'm gonna discard a winged. I don't really want to show them the winged, but we've already got one more in hand. It's the thing that makes the most sense. But our our main trick is revealed if they're paying attention. Skyfisher. Hopping back a land. No problem. Wow. Hopping back a land. <laughs> All right. That's a lot. We're taking six, and then they got 
flyers now. No matter what, we're going to take four next turn because there's no way we're playing winged yet. Ugh. Well, we're going to be going to a game too, I'm thinking. Especially like this. It's just a little too slow. Go ahead. A, uh, a forest there would have been probably the best. Or anything. Planes too. Any third land would have been better so we could at least get a couple creatures down. They take him out though, I'm just conceding. Because <laughs> we're taking 10, we go to 1. It's just over from that point. Even if they don't take him out, and we get a land next turn, best case scenario, we're just in chump blocking mode. I mean, we're already in chump blocking mode, aren't we? Yeah, we're not gonna take 10 this turn. But I just wish they'd play a little faster. We could be on to game two by now. They have it. Weird. I don't know why they're just doing that, but uh, six, eight. Setting up for a lightning bolt. I think they were. I don't know why they just wouldn't attack in with Skyfisher, but uh, yep, we're just going to go ahead and roll on to the next game here. Uh, let's see. Masked Vandal for the removal seems... Decent. Striking, I still do like for those wild Nakatles. Could take out a Sentinel, Plated Plated, bring in Benevolent. Part of me wants to bring in Prismatic, but I don't know what else to cut from there. We gotta cut one more thing. Let's not play with all three vandals. Let's just do two. I don't know. Let's see if we can have a better hand. That is a better hand. We'll take that. And we are just gonna not worry about the Thriving Grove yet. I just want to get some stuff out to go into our gem hide. Start laying down the law. Uh, let's start with our blanking. Go. All right, good. Tap lands, give us extra time, and we've got a refill. That's fine with me. This is how our start should be. They have the same start as last time, and they go Ash Barons are in a world of trouble. But they are going to take out... Oh, no, they're Ash Barons. Okay. Ooh, that's that's rough. All right, we're gonna play Thriving Grove, Call Blue, and probably just play Predatory. Get in there for six damage and three poisonous. Let's see what the draw is. Tempting. Do I take another turn? Play two lords. Get it all down there. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get it all down there. Yeah, yeah. doesn't really matter who we tap with. We're still going to be swinging for three and one poison. They're setting up quite a bit here. And we've got a refill on the way. Here comes the removal. Scred me out. I'll tap out for it. That's fine. We get a sinew. I'm still going to... Winding way. 
beautiful. I like everything that this is showing me here. Let's go. Do I want to swing in for damage still? Yeah, let's just go Lord Lord. Next turn we can drop our winged, our striking, because I feel like at this point they'll use two removals. Chances are, maybe they're going to start playing some creatures now, and then we could slam a winged and just be done with it. Maybe they have one more. They do have one more. All right. One more removal. Abundant growth. Sure. Drawing those cards. No matter what, we're in a good place, even if they do take out our other one. Alright, here comes a wild Nakatl. Doesn't matter now, though. Mortuary. Hmm, okay. I feel like whenever I see Waddle Nakatl, it's just like a jank deck. Yeah, they weren't uh, going to be happy with what we were playing next. Okay. Run it back? Run it back. Let's do it. Playing a little faster now, too, which is good. Good hand. Come on. That's that's not a good hand. It's not a good hand. Mulligan. Keep this card. One of the planes. All blue. Start setting up here with our winged. We can at least race with this kind of a hand for a second. For lights. Okay. It's actually good. I can. Play both these next turn. Set up with a Lord while they're doing shenanigans. No red yet. Nihilus Presence, what do you do again? Okay. Just mana fixing. We got the red now, right? Yeah. Gem hide is great. I'm still gonna just go ahead and do this play. Uh, set up for the gem hide next turn. A lot of cards in hand for them. Invasive species. Return another permanent you control to its overhand. That's an expensive play for a uh, Core the Skyfisher type play. It is a 3-3, three, three, but... They're going to go for some more card draw. Alright. We have another Lord on the way. Let's get him down. Make him deal with it. journey just gonna replay the presence okay I think they played on the wrong one if they have removal they would have wanted to play it on their their other land so they could scred or lightning strike something if they have it which maybe they're telegraphing they don't I will take all the stuff guess what we're going above you now. I like them apples. At this point, I am just going to be swinging. This is nine damage. Finish this game up right quick. Still got a frick ton of cards in hand, though. Can't forget about that. That is uh, pretty gnarly. Lots of land. And a lot of cards. 
bit concerning, but again, we do get it. They know when to concede, at least. They see the writing on the wall. Draw on a force next turn. We were just going to play the wing, but then we were getting the first striker. Um, and that's about it. So we, were, we weren't drawn into much else for a few more turns, but hey, not bad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the other content that's been coming out on the channel. If you like any Call of Duty, booster cracking openings, or other gameplay, we're playing a Lovecraft game right now called The Shore, so make sure to check that out as well. And we will see you guys in the next video.